After taking a surprisingly long hiatus from acting, Lindsay Lohan is back once again and ready to grace our screens with her seriously talented acting skills. In this video, we'll talk about how Lindsay Lohan was spotted filming a new movie in the west of Ireland and what her former co-star had to say about it. So let's get right into it. First up, Lindsay Lohan is back in Hollywood. Just when everyone had given up hope and thought that it would never happen, it does. We're talking about Lindsay Lohan being back in the game, and it's all thanks to Netflix. The former child actress had been away from the acting scene for quite some time now, and has had little to no success after giving us hit films like Mean Girls and Freaky Friday back in the early 2000s. The 36-year-old actress announced in March that she had signed a two-picture deal with Netflix, and when pictures from her upcoming film were released to the media, fans were quick to notice the change in her. They claimed that she looked happier and that her face had changed. Well, we guess Netflix made sure to get her an offer that would make her more content than ever. Let's talk about her upcoming film. Recently, she was spotted in Comeo to film her second upcoming film with Netflix, which is currently being shot in Ireland. The Mean Girls protagonist was caught on camera wearing a white wedding dress on set in Westport as she filmed scenes from her movie Irish Wish. The rom-com is set to release in 2023, and Lohan plays the role of Maddie, a bridesmaid who's in love with her best friend's soon-to-be husband. Although she decides to put her own feelings aside to support the happy couple, a few days before the wedding, Maddie makes a wish for true love and ends up waking up as the bride-to-be. When she finds out her wish seems to have come true, she realizes her real soulmate is someone else entirely. Someone one she never expected it to be. Sounds like the perfect plot for a rom-com, and we can hardly wait to see this one. Alongside Lohan is actor Ed Spilliers, who portrayed Stephen Bonnet in Outlander and Jimmy Kent in the critically acclaimed show Downton Abbey. Spilliers isn't the only one from Outlander who has signed up for the project. Alexander Vlaos, who plays the role of Alan Christie and was also formerly a part of the BBC show Merlin, will also be joining his colleagues. Elizabeth Tan from Emily in Paris, as well as chef and NBA star Stephen Curry's wife, Aisha Curry, have also been named as cast members. Finally, joining this list will be Jane Seymour, who's known for her role as Dr. Quinn from the 90s series Medicine Woman. That rounds up everything that we know so far about the current cast list. From the looks of it, this is going to be one interesting lineup, with actors from different backgrounds coming together for this seemingly delightful rom-com. Following up with what we know about the filmmakers, this is the second time that Lohan will be teaming up with married writer-producer couple Janine and Michael Damien, since she is also set to star in the holiday film slated for a November release this year, Falling for Christmas. The film screenplay was written by Kirsten Hansen, Ron Oliver, and Janine and Michael Damien, while it's being produced by Brad Cravoy from MPCA and Michael Damien of Riviera Films. MPCA has produced several Netflix films, including the upcoming Falling for Christmas, the Princess Switch series, A Christmas Prince Films, and Operation Christmas Drop. Executive producers currently on board include Kristen Hansen, Amanda Phillips, and Vince Belzano. Moving on to how Lindsay Lohan feels about working with Netflix. Earlier this year, Lindsay Lohan spoke about how refreshing it was to work with the streaming platform and that it's been a great decision overall. She claimed that while life had moved really fast for her, she felt she was finally able to come into her own and sit down to reflect on her troubled past. By speaking her truths and putting them out there in the universe, Lohan felt it lifted a burden off her chest and it felt good. The musician actress said that she didn't sign the deal with Netflix just to make a splashy comeback. She had her good reasons for agreeing to do the two films, especially Falling for Christmas. She claimed that she really clicked with the people involved in making the film, along with the executives at Netflix. Did Lindsay Lohan and miss acting. She believed in the picture deal because she felt that rom-coms had become a little dissipated lately, and she really missed doing them. Lindsay, believe us when we say this, we missed seeing you in rom-coms too. When Lohan started acting, rom-coms were her forte, especially during a time when she was coming into her own and going through her teens. The actress stated that she wanted to bring that back in the best way that she could, and Netflix will be right there to help her along that journey. Well, we get two great rom-coms that remind us of the 2000s, and everything that was good about it. So, win-win win for us. Let's talk about Lohan's troubled past. There was a time when most people thought that Lohan was unstoppable and a force to be reckoned with, but after several scandals and subsequent court hearings, the actress fell into a pot of troubles that she could climb out of. Unfortunately for her, there eventually came a point when she just wasn't being cast anymore, because Hollywood considered her too big of a liability. She even tried to stage a comeback on The Oprah Winfrey Show several years ago, quite unsuccessfully, but it looks like she's a lot more committed this time around, and with a two-picture deal with the giant streaming platform, she's taking her career more seriously than ever. Lindsay Lohan feels that films play an integral role, especially in the lives of young women, and the idea of self-discovery for women in movies done in a fun and lighthearted way is super important. She reflected on her teen years and believes that she was a complete yes person, and at the time she believed the more she was doing, the better it was. Thankfully, she's overcome that through the years and grown into her own woman, coming up with her new take on life as an actress. Now she wants the ability to pick and choose the kind of projects that she really resonates with and 
approach them in a less is more kind of way. It looks like Lohan has really matured as a person. Nowadays, the star of Georgia Rule is happy because she gets to live her life in a more freeing and private way. She can choose the films that she wants to do and still come back to enjoy her time and space by, which she really appreciates. She's also been spending time working on her podcast, The Lowdown, before signing on with Netflix. She claimed that a podcast was something new and a medium that she has never explored before, so she just dove right in. Let's talk about having friends like Jonathan Bennett. After the announcement of Netflix's deal with Lindsay Lohan, we've realized two things. The first is that we're over the moon to be getting not one, but two rom-coms to watch through this year and the next. The second is the fact that everyone in life needs a co-star turned friend like Jonathan Bennett. But then again, we can't all be beloved actresses from the 2000s. Bennett is said to be rooting for his former co-star as she makes her return to acting and he couldn't be happier. The now 41-year-old actor played Lohan's love interest, Aaron Samuels, a whopping 18 years ago in the cult classic Mean Girls. Seriously, even 18 years later, we don't think we've come across a better high school movie yet. Next, is there a possibility for the two actors to make a movie together? The actor claimed that he's looking forward to watching Lindsay Starr in Falling for Christmas, and he can't wait to be possibly reunited with her to do a Christmas movie at Hallmark, hopefully. Hey Hallmark, we really hope you're paying attention to this. We desperately need a Jonathan Bennett and Lindsay Lohan chick flick. Well, after nearly eight years of a hiatus, it makes sense for Jonathan to be sending her some warm holiday cheer. Finally, Jonathan Bennett welcomes Lindsay Lohan to the world of Christmas movies. Bennett was quick to reach out to his former co-star and congratulated her, welcoming her into the world of Christmas movies, claiming that they're one large happy family. He also said that he feels Lohan is one of the best actresses of his generation, and people are more than ready to see her grace our screens once again. The Christmas Made to Order actor said that there's no better way to come back to the big screen than doing a fun Christmas movie. And that's a wrap for this video. Do you have any thoughts about these upcoming films starring Lindsay Lohan? Let us know in the comments below, and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you in the next one.